My name's Carly. I work here at Perry Woods Tip Tree. Um, I work in the containers and hanging basket department. Uh, myself and my colleague Fiona make all the containers for Tip Tree and Sudbury and also all of the hanging baskets. Um, I'm just going to do a very quick tutorial and show you how to make this little um, autumn basket container. Um, it's nice and simple, but I think it still adds a nice bit of colour going into the, the autumn season. So this is what it should look like when we're finished. Um, what I do is I get everything I need laid out. Um, I get my container sorted, all the plants that I'm going to use and my um, compost. Um, we use um, a 30% reduced peat-free compost. Um, just because we're hoping to, you know, go more peat free as the time goes on. And I'm just going to show you quickly how I would make it. So we get um, a little base of soil in the bottom. If it's an outdoor container, it always must have drainage holes. If your pot doesn't, then just drill, drill a few holes through and that'll be absolutely fine. Um, so you just need a little bit of soil in the bottom. Um, I'm going to start with this lovely Euronymus. This is going to be um, the plant that I put at the back, which is going to be my height. So I just Tease it a little bit at the bottom, make sure everything's looking nice. I put that at the back like that. We've then got a lovely cyclamen. These will last all the way now through to the spring. Um, so if you deadhead them throughout the autumn and winter, you'll have you know winter colour all the way through to spring, which is great. Um, we've got a lovely little winter pansy. Again, if you deadhead throughout, that will last you all autumn and winter. We put that at the back. Um, we've got a lovely little pink dianthus, they're really, really sweet. Again, colour wise, they complement each other really nicely. I pop that at the front because it's a bit shorter, so you want to kind of graduate the height so it all looks nice. And then for a bit of flow down the front, chose this lovely variegated ivy. Um, obviously, that will grow and grow, so you could always trim it back if it gets a bit too big for your container. Um, but I just place that at the front. And that just gives it a bit of um, a bit of something going down forward. I would then just fill in all the edges with your compost. Make sure you go all the way around and then give it a good water in once you've done that. Always water your container in. Um, that way it would have had a nice drink. And whenever myself or Fiona make something here, we always let you know that we've planted it here at Perrywood. And that's about it your little autumn container.